So in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a satisfactory dedicated server. Now the maximum people it can hold is 10, I think, 10 slots. Um, but um, I think it, when you first install it, it's limited to four slots. I'm not sure. Um, you probably have to Google how to make it to 10 slots. I think you need to add um, a, a line into a command file. I don't know. We'll do this, we'll do this on the fly and see. So the first thing you need to do is Google Steam CMD and then click on Steam CMD Valve Community and then you want to go to Windows because we want Windows version. This is for the Windows, we're not going to do a Linux version and you want to click on download Steam CMD for Windows. So you click this, um, you've downloaded your Steam CMD zip file, you want to line this down and we want to line that down. <coughs> And what we want to do is create a folder. I'm going to just call it Steam, or whatever you want to call it. And we want to drag this in here. Um, I'll put the links in the description. And we want to open this, and then you want to run this file, Steam cmd.dxe. And then we want that to do its thing. And as you can see, it's going to add loads of files here. And once it's done, it's just going to check it. And as you can see, it's gave us all the files that Steam needs to actually install the server. So we're going to line that down for now. We're going to bring this here. So first thing is we want to log in. Um, we're not going to use any Steam accounts. We're just going to log in as a guest or anonymously. Um, so you just want to type that. I'll put it in the description so you can copy and paste it. And then you want to press enter. And it'll log in. And it's nicely logged in for us. So then you want to search for the app ID for Satisfactory. So um, I'll put the link in the description. And it's this one, Satisfactory Dedicated Server. And there's the app ID. So we want to copy that. And we want to go back here. That's for a different game, ignore that. And then to install it, you want to click on this, copy this. I'll put that in the description as well, so you can just copy and paste it. I don't know why Night of the Dead's there. Um, so again, copy that. We'll line this down because we don't need that anymore. And um, we want this. And then we want to paste that in there. Press enter. And it's 19 gig, so it may take a while. So you might want to go and make a copy tea. And then come back. Okay. So now that's installed, um, it says fully installed at the bottom. So now we can line that down and we can go to the folder we created earlier, the Steam folder, and we can go in Steam Apps folder. And then we can go in Common, and then there you have it, Satisfactory Dedicated Server. So what we need to do in here, is go in Factory Game, and I think, not sure, let's go back. Remember, I'm doing this on the fly, so let's have a look. I think this is automatically set up to allow for four players. Um, you will have to Google how to change it to 10 players, or I will add it in the description later on, or something like that. So basically, once that's installed, all you have to do is double click this. Give it a couple of seconds. I click allow for the firewall. And then I'm thinking that it's running in the background and no command prompt window is coming up. So we'll see if it's running in the background. We're going to load Satisfactory up. So you want to click Agree here. Remember the server status of Satisfactory is still in beta. So you're going to click Server Manager. And you'll go down here and click Add a Server. So we want to add the callback echo address, which I think is 128.0.0.1. I think it's that one. And the part of the default, so click confirm. And as you can see, that is not the server. Ah. Let me just check that. 
probably got it wrong and somebody's going to try and correct me now. Um, loop back IP. Oh no, it's <laughs> 127. Oh, I'm far off, were we? Right, so let's remove that off over there. And add it again. 127.0.0.0.1. Same IP. That address does not seem to be valid. Have I added too many zeros? Oh my god, I'm not very good at this, am I? 2.0.0.0.1. Did I put a dot one in there? There we go. Server name pending. <coughs> uh, Servers can claim claimed. So we're going to call. With Satisfactory, you, you don't need um, a config file. You just have to set it up and get it running. But you have to connect to it before anyone else. Then you can give it a name. So I'm going to call it Manta Server. I'm going to call it Confirm. And we're going to set a password. One, two, three. One, two, three. And there you are. You're the admin. And once that's set up, you've got admin access. So you've got your status. You need to create a game, obviously. So this is where you can start a new game. So you click your game and you click create. You've got other server settings here. Like you can rechange the name, you can change the password, you can tell it to pause when there's no players on it. Or you can tell it to keep playing if there's no one on it. You can tell it to save the games when players disconnect. And then you've got manage saves. And then you've got console. Right, so if you want to start a fresh game, you obviously pick what you want. Enable join once the server is done. So click that, click create game. And it should start your thing up. Now, if you've already got a saved game on your computer and you want to put it in, load it on the server, you're going to have to create a game first. So it uses all the files. As you can see, we're in the game. And it's all running all good. Now if you want to admin the server, press escape, go to server manager and click your server again and as you can see it gives you the tier 2 current players on it which is me and then we've got manage saves so what you want to do is you want to create a save and we want to call it temp and then we've got a file called temp, it's saved. If you want to load a file, a, a game um, you have to look through the folder of the actual server files and look for temp save. Once you've found that, you can actually grab your save from your saved game and put it in there and load it up. Or you can upload a save, which I think they, they're they still working on. And then you've got console to add a command. Um, if you do restart the server, you will have to log in again and then start the save automatically. And also, if that's too complicated for you and you can't be bothered hosting it on your computer because the electric costs too much, then feel free to come to my website and rent a dedicated 10 slot off me for a cheap price of £7.50 per month. <laughs>